Hi, it's Lou Collins and I want to show you a really quick tutorial today on how to create a typewriter shaped card using my new textures range. This is the Steampunk collection and we have beautiful typewriters in here, various shape sizes, um, but this one where the die actually fits the stamp so we can stamp and die cut together. So this is called the Type Sentiments die set and this is the Type Sentiments stamp set. So what we're going to do is take a card base that is larger than your typewriter stamp. This is much larger so you can use a little bit smaller if you wish to. Uh, the die set, the stamp set, we're going to need a black ink, an acrylic block or a stamping platform uh, and a die cutting machine and really that's about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in an acrylic block, excuse mine, it's quite messy, it's got some ink and things on it, um, and I'm going to position my stamp on there. Now it's quite a large stamp, so you need a good size acrylic block for this, or a stamping platform of course. Um, I'm going to use a black Versa fine ink pad, and I'm going to ink all over my stamp. Now, my card base, I want to make sure that the spine is at the top there. So positioning that, just making sure I've got plenty of ink on the detail element of this typewriter because there is a lot of detail and it's kind of a sketched look as well. Now I'm going to position this over my card and I want to make sure that I do stamp the top of the, um, the paper there but only just, it's on the very, very edge of the card where that fold is, where that spine is. So just pressing down all over the typewriter, making sure there's loads of pressure. If you've got a stamping platform, it's easier because you can fold and you can re-ink and fold again. There we go, beautiful. I love the design of that, isn't it beautiful? I love the aged look to it. So, popping this just to the side, we can now take the outline die that goes with this typewriter and we can place this over the typewriter, but just ensuring that when you tape this down, the cutting edge just misses the spine. So the cutting edge of the, of the die there is going to be overlapping the spine. So I'm just going to move, make sure that's moved up just enough. And I'm going to take a little bit of, well you can use a washi tape or you can use a low tack tape to hold the die down in a couple of places. Once you've taped this down just do a double check that the cutting blade there is not going to be cutting into the spine of your card and you can run that through your die cutting machine. So just removing the tape there and there we go so we've put our excess away and we've got ourselves a little typewriter shaped card. Now some additional extras that you actually have included with your steampunk collection and namely the stamp set that we've been using is we have some sentiments on here so I'm going to use one of these uh, I'm going to put just a note to say and this can really be for any occasion then just inking this up and position this. I'm going to bring this up ever so slightly towards the top so we can add in some embellishments. To make this typewriter card a little more feminine because uh, as it is without any decoration it looks quite masculine, quite plain. Um, you can decorate this any way you like actually. You can go more masculine, uh, more steampunk with some of the cogs in the collection or you can bring in my floral script collection. Now this actually works really nicely, it's a nice contrast to the steampunk look. Uh, I'm taking one of my flowers die cut from the paper pad from the floral script collection and I'm just going to attach that to the top of the typewriter as if it's kind of coming out from the top there and across the page. So I'll glue that down there but I'm also going to add a little bit of this pinky purpley colour to the keys as well. So I'm going to take a, a purple ink which comes from again from the textures collection, these are my watercolour inks, and just add one little drop of purple and then one little drop of pink as well. So this will make a nice mix of two colours which will hopefully roughly represent the colour that's in the um, in the die cut flower there. So it's kind of a it's a very pinky purpley colour. 
So two little drops on an acrylic block. I've got a water brush here so I'm going to add some water here and just bring in a little colour here until I've mixed up the sort of shade that I'm happy with. And I'm going to paint the keys down here with this pink colour. So I'm going to do a variety of different shades. So I'm going to pick more from the pink and then I'm going to pick more from the purple and space them out. Just doing a few alternate keys here. Do a nice mix. There we go. And then I'm just going to take clean my brush a little bit until I've got clear water coming through. And I'm just going to brush over the keys to allow the inks to just bleed ever so slightly into the ones that are remaining for a softer look. So we're actually now creating an almost pink coloured typewriter which is really fun. Bringing a little bit of pink into the rule that's along here and along some of the letter keys there. There we go, I could keep adding to that all day but that's enough so just to glue this down there and we have a lovely feminine typewriter with a little just a note to say sentiment shaped like a typewriter also which is really fun and something you absolutely couldn't buy in the shops <laughs>